Hi everybody, today is October 7th, 2013. A lot of people just can't read the writing on the wall and I keep saying that this government is thumbing their nose at us. And here's another clear example of them thumbing their nose at us. If you need health care coverage, just dial 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-O. The Obama administration has you covered and simply dial 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-O to reach the next available health care provider. It's not a joke, it's not a mistype. That's the official number that Health and Human Services want Americans to dial when seeking health care. Obamacare's National Call Center really did list the number as 1-800-318-2596. Check it out for yourself. Helpfully spelling out Barack Obama's tendency to bluntly flip the bird in plain view. After allowing for the lack of numbers attached to 1 on the traditional American telephone keypad, the number spells out a clear message. For every duped voter, every young invincible weighing the cost of the penalty versus a newly tripled yearly deductible, every ailing old granny in a wheelchair whom, remember, Paul Ryan wants to push off a cliff, who needs adequate and affordable health care. Obama's message is 1-800-3 equals F, 8 equals U, 2 equals C, 5 equals K, 9 equals Y, and six equals yo. Sadly, the Obama administration failed to swap the useless one for a more functional eight to complete the heartfelt message and perhaps in consultation to former White House Chief of Staff Ram Emanuel tragically shortened middle finger. Health and Human Services Secretary Kathleen Sibelius launched a media campaign this week to propagandize the transformation health care overhaul. She compared the sweeping course of law that gives government huge power over the health care industry to an iPhone system update. Everyone just assumes, well, there's a problem, they'll fix it, we'll move on. Sibelius said about Apple's iOS updates. And like many of their customers, I put the new system on my phone and went on my merry way. But it was just a reminder that we're likely to have some glitches. We will fix them and move on. Is this a sign that the law is flawed and failed? I don't think so. It's a sign that we're building a piece of complicated technology. We want to work. We want it to work right. We've got an incredible team working 24-7 to do just that. And hopefully they'll give us the same slack they gave Apple, Sibelius said, according to the Wall Street Journal. Unconscious behavior or a blatant slap in the American face? Tell me what you think it is. Try dial 1-800-F-U-C-K-Y-O and reach the Obamacare's national hotline. All right, bookmark my site. I'll keep you up to date. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.